Today's video was a request from a good friend of mine. She gave me this cute t-shirt. She would like to know step-by-step -step the process for using a transfer. Today's video, I'm gonna call Transfers 101. We're gonna take this item that I purchased from a thrift store probably a year ago. I used it this summer because I decorated with sunflowers, but I knew all along that at some point I was gonna upcycle this sign, and today's the day. So let's get started with Transfers 101. Thrift stores are great places to find signs to recycle. The first thing we need to do to our sign is sand off the old design. We can cover it up with paint, but oftentimes the design underneath will still show through. The wood on this sign was pretty rough, so a good sand will help our transfer adhere to the wood. I'm using DIY paint in the color beadboard. I love DIY paint. It only has nine ingredients and you don't have to worry about any toxic fumes. This is Chirp. I'm watching her, well we think she's a her, for a friend of mine and I had no idea parakeets were so sensitive to fumes. Nothing can happen to Chirp on my watch. Chirp doesn't even seem to mind the attention of Lucy. Lucy loves Chirp, and Chirp doesn't even seem phased by Lucy. DIY paint is highly pigmented and has great coverage. I'm using one of the new IOD transfers. This one is brocante, and you can see all the beautiful designs to choose from. That's what makes it so fun, picking and choosing just what you want for your unique design. Next, I used milk paint in the color Curry. You use equal parts of the milk paint powder to water, but only mix up enough for what you're going to use now because the milk paint does not keep. Milk paint gives you that chippy look, and that's what I really wanted. But milk paint also has a mind of its own, and I got no chippy. This is the new IOD Vintage Texture Stamp. Since I didn't get chippy, I decided to try this new stamp. Before you use the stamps for the first time, they need to be seasoned by slightly sanding in both directions. I'm using IOD Decor Ink in black. I love when I'm watching a YouTube video and they give me a pro tip. Well, this is a common sense tip 
when using a stamp for the first time, practice on something other than your project. This came out way too dark. Good thing there's sandpaper. You can clean the stamps with a baby wipe. Sometimes it's just easier to paint over it. Can you tell I'm really liking these stamps? But you gotta use a little muscle to get them off the backing. Finally, I'm loving it, and we're ready for the transfers. I kind of felt sorry for Chirp. I thought she needed a friend. So I did a little research, and when I found out what you have to go through to enter another bird into the family, I got Chirp a mirror. And Chirp loves that bird in the mirror. This transfer is the ladies in waiting transfer and I'm using some of the butterflies and a couple of the flowers. You'll probably notice here that the heart is gone and I now have a circle. I didn't get any video of that because I had some help. I'm still new to power tools and I wasn't quite sure how to do it on my own. Okay, I just wanted to do a better explanation of how these transfers come. This is, how, this is the package they come in. There's eight 12 by 16 sheets. If you flip it over, you can see all the different designs that I, I went through on the video so you could kind of see them. And then here's the tool that, they, that each package comes with. And this is the tool you use to apply the transfer.
As the paper on the transfer becomes translucent, the transfer design is sticking to your project. When you sand over the transfer, it makes it look like it's part of the wood, like it's an old sign that maybe you found, not like a sign you just made. <laughs> when you use DIY paint, you need to use a sealer. I'm using clear wax to seal the paint. This is DIY decrepit dust. I am using the dust here to give my sign a more aged look. Then I'm going over it with clear wax to seal. I also use dark wax along the edges. That was a lot of steps before we even got to the transfers. So I wanted to show you, it can be way easier. Here I took a piece of scrap wood, painted it in the same DIY paint, did a few colors with a dry brush for interest, and then applied the transfers. If you watch till the end, you can let me know which sign you like better. Leave a comment below and let me know which sign you like best. Let's go. Let's go.